Hello. We are live, I hope, with no technical slowdown. Are we good? Can you hear me okay? Can you see the graphic okay with like the lines? Like it's not like lagging out. I think I fixed the PC. Um, I think it's working again. Just in time for me to announce that I won't be streaming the next few days. <laughs> I'm gonna be getting up to some fun stuff in the States, uh, after today, I think until, like, Sunday or Monday. Uh, which is unfortunate, because I was hoping to start Outer Wilds, like, three days ago. Um, but I, d I don't want to do, like, one three-hour stream of that and then just disappear for a few days. Uh, so we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait. Uh, until I'm back and it's a bit more consistent. Um, because of that, uh, we've crash-landed. <laughs> Into the video game that is Who Wants to Be a Millionaire that I've just been like keeping in the pocket. This, this could be a real shit show of a stream because I don't know if this game is any good. Uh, but you're all very welcome. Uh, we'll be going about two and a half to three hours today. I hope everyone's keeping well. Uh, thank you for bearing with me on the technical difficulties front. I know my schedule has been abysmal, <laughs> for lack of a better descriptor. Uh, I, I just been having technical issues and whatnot uh but thank you for bearing with me i do really appreciate it the pc is hopefully fixed um i, I have a pretty solid idea of what was causing the problems i cracked it open i fixed it is the audio quiet or is it just me i mean turn it up turn it up it might audio check are we good do i sound good i would start you at the I'll play Stardew again when I feel like it. Uh, I'm feeling very pressured into playing that game lately, which is means I steer clear of it completely. Um, I do want to play it again at some point. I would like to. But there's a lot of mountain pressure just to play it again. And and so that means I, I want to play other stuff. That's how my brain works. Just bear with me. You can watch the videos on the YouTube channel in the meanwhile if you want Stardew. Ah. When do you play Trials and Tribulations? Uh, yeah, that game's in the same boat as Stardew, unfortunately. Uh, that, that game's been on hold for a long time. Just a lot of pressure to play it. And I don't like feeling pressured. I'd rather play something where I'm unpressured. And I can, like, surprise you. If that makes sense. That's just how my brain works. I'll get around to them eventually. Um, but just dial off the gas a while. You know? That's what I would say. There's a suggestions box for uh, a bunch of games, too. But those ones I know have come up a lot. Uh, I do plan to play them eventually, but... I'll, I'm going at my own pace. We're not playing those today, anyway. We're not playing those. When are you playing Fortnite? That's the real question. His brain works like a chipmunk. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, Genshin stream when? Oh, cannot wait. Genshin Impact Sundays. They're coming. Get ready. Once a week, we'll do our gotcha rolls. Fortnite Fridays and, Gen and Genshin Sundays. Let's go. <laughs> You have a problem. I, the, the funny thing is, I haven't played Genshin in like a few weeks <laughs> properly. <laughs> I sat down to play it like a while ago and it was like, eh, I'm good. Just gave it a go. I've been, I've been playing Pokemon Go every day. I've been fucking loving that. Real gamer hours. Uh, I now have a shiny Tyranitar in that game that I'm delighted with. It's actually good fun. God, please no. Oh, it's good fun. It's got me like out of the house and walking about. We've done like nature trails and stuff uh, here. It's actually been really fun. Happy Bloomsday as well. 
Uh, yes, it, it is a celebration of James Joyce, Irish writer. Because uh, his novel Ulysses takes place on the 16th of June. Uh, it's actually a very special um, anniversary for Bloomsday because it's actually the uh, centenary. It's 100 years to the day uh, that I believe it was published. Um, so that's a big one. Uh, there's a lot of stuff happening back in Ireland. Uh, I myself am streaming Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and then going to Legoland after. Um, so, you know, somehow that's the odyssey I'm sure Joyce envisioned in his novel. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I'm I'm sure that's a good way to celebrate it. <laughs> Sounds like a perfect day. Oh, I can't fucking wait for Legoland. That's why the stream is shorter today too. That's why I can only go like three hours, because then I got I gotta get my suit on. This is a formal occasion, right? <laughs> I gotta dress up nice. Celebrate the modern day experience of man. What even is Lego Land? <laughs> it's, it's a land made of Lego and it sounds wonderful. I could be better dressed for Lego Land than his own wedding. Probably. Yeah, probably. Honestly. <laughs> There's more important things in life. Yeah, you get to celebrate being with your partner every day. You don't get to go to Legoland that often. You have the rest of your lives to celebrate each other. Legoland is once in a lifetime. Do you get a Lego stream after Legoland? I, I can guarantee you I will be purchasing some kind of Lego product tonight. It's, it's inevitable. Um, I was thinking about it because they have like these little pick and mix segments where you normally get to make your own Lego characters. Uh, I'm probably going to try and make Walter White. <laughs> I will let you know if I can find the pieces. So I can put him in my city. Walter White minifig. Sammy! I've turned myself into a Lego figure, Sammy! <laughs> I'm a new product! Oh, God. Uh, Nikki, thank you for 500 bits. My 22nd birthday was on Tuesday. Glad to catch the stream today. Happy belated birthday to you. Hope you had a fantastic day. Uh, thank you to everyone that's subbed too. Thank you to everyone that's given bits. Um, I hope the stream is running okay. I really do. Can you see this okay? Are the lights intact? Okay, yes, yeah, so I, I think we've... I think I fixed it. I really think I fixed it. That's fantastic. RT help, the stream is currently setting my fridge on fire. That sounds like a you problem. You're on your own. Okay, perfect, we've got it. My eye smells it. Oh, that sounds very sad. Okay. Uh, how many people have actually seen this game show? Because I forget that we live in an era where people don't watch TV anymore. I, I don't watch television, like, at all. There's probably a lot of people who haven't seen this. Jeremy Clarkson runs it? No, he does It's Chris Tarrant. What do you mean Jeremy Clarkson runs it? Oh god, I'm older than all of you. When did that happen? Is Chris Tarrant dead? I haven't heard from him in a while. Hang on. Let me just see. Is Chris... No, he's still kicking. Okay, he's... He left in 2013. Oh my god. Oh no, it's almost been nine years since he left the show. I'm old. Okay, I, of course I picked the UK edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire because that's what we would have watched here in Ireland. Uh, we only have four Irish TV channels and they're all kind of shit. <laughs> 
We have RTE1, which uh, runs the news and American broadcasting. RTE2, which runs American broadcasting. TV3, which runs American broadcasting. And TG Carr, which runs Asquel original programming, but no one knows how to speak Irish. So it's very unfortunate. Uh, but then we get all, the, then we get like BBC 1 and 2 and Channel 4 and shit. The only good thing to watch on Irish TV is the Late Late Toy Show and it comes once a year. That's literally it. It It's really shit outside of that, unfortunately. It, it's a mess. It's it's sad. It used to be better. Um, but what are you going to do? You have BT or Sky. I, I, I use my TV for Netflix. <laughs> I haven't, like, watched, like, an actual Irish TV show in years. I gave up. What about Ross Naroon? <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, classic Irish shows. Yeah, because we have we have a few Irish TV shows. Have you, have you ever heard of Fair City? You know how, like, EastEnders is, like, set in, like, London and that? Uh, well, Fair City is the Irish bootleg version based in Dublin. It's really shit. Don't watch it. <laughs> it's really awful. Fair City, more like fairly shitty. <laughs> oh. Is there an Irish in betweeners? Uh, I don't think so. But you can't see the game? Well, the game's on. Oh, you can. Open your eyes. Man's wearing a fucking blindfold. Randall, Tanya, Daniel, Verdi. It's good to see you. Ah, uh, yeah, we have Fair City. Like, what other, like, original Irish broadcasting do we have? The new- the news is okay. We get- we get the news. We still do the thing on Irish television where at 6 o'clock you have, like, a minute that passes for churchgoers. Um, that's why I, it's, it's the 6-1 news because of that, because you have to wait a minute. No joke, like, uh, uh you, like, so you have to just listen to, like, the bell go. For, like, a full minute. Still there. Wait for the vicar. We have winning streak. Oh yeah, we have winning streak in the big big movie on Saturdays. So the big big movie is what RTE spends its broadcast budget on every week, right? Um, and they feature such staple classics as Shrek and Shrek 2. The big boys of movies. That I don't have enough for Shrek 3. We're not quite there yet. The techno like, That's too recent. But it's like every Saturday. I, I I don't know if it's. I hope it's still going, but that's like a staple of Irish television. The big big movie. Uh, we have that. We also still show The Simpsons at six o'clock every day, uh, on RTE two, I believe, on weekdays. And it's not Modern Simpsons because I don't think they can afford it. It's the old episodes, which are actually the good ones. So maybe that is like a plus, like point bonus points for art for Irish television. <laughs> Imagine Irish TV as your granddad, thinking this will be fun for the kids to watch. That's more or less how it goes. This is just Hungarian TV. <laughs> Happy Bloom's Day, Irish Hungarian crossover. It's there. Ah. Dairy Girls. I don't know what that is. Irish Breaking Bad where they make blue Guinness. Probably a plot point in Fair City. That sounds like something they do. It sounds kind of sad. It is. Let's play this. <laughs> Press any button to continue. Oh, you know you're off to a good start where it doesn't have mouse input. There we go. Congratulations. Thank you for your purchase. <laughs> like, congrats on using your wallet. You know, more games should start off like that. Yeah, so this doesn't have mouse... No, it, it does. 
No, it does have mouse controls. Okay, I was worried for a second. All right. They have a shop. DC Comics, the Olympic Games, and general culture. Wait, neurons. What? Did it? <laughs> They invent their own currency for this game. What? What's general culture? Steam store. Who wants to be a millionaire? The deluxe upgrade is the only thing available in the shop. I want to see what general culture is. Th this game already has DLC. There's only one piece of DLC as far as I can see. The deluxe upgrade is available now. This only came out like a month back. <laughs> okay, all right, uh, go on. Okay, we, I'm curious. Let's get the deluxe upgrade. No, it's not letting me purchase it. Hang on. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Maybe that's why it said congratulations, because you have to actually work for this. The game already costs 30 euro for trivia. Uh, but it's another tenner. Oh, wait, no. Do I already own this? I think I already own the deluxe version. It's already in your Steam library. Why is it saying I don't own it? I I have this. <laughs> this is your test for a million. <laughs> Maybe you have to use neurons to unlock them. I don't think you do. Okay, let's just start. Let's just start. Okay. Online multiplayer. Oh god. Oh no. Solo. Solo. Okay. The normal experience, please. I'm a vanilla man. With the timer. Okay. Yeah. So it's, it's enabled. All right. So we have it by default. You have to unlock these with your neurons. But apparently I have a million neurons. Let's just unlock everything. I want to be asked every possible kind of question. Turn them all on. Oh wait, sorry, except manga. Thanks for saving. Yep, that's probably a good choice there. Okay. I'll turn it on as well, because if I turn on manga, like I'm gonna be out of my depth immediately. <laughs> You know, just I, I, there's gonna be one question where it's like, Jeremy Clarkson just sits down like with his contestant, and it's like so. In the melancholy of uh, Harry he's Susan Mia, it's like oh god, where are we going? Jeremy Clarkson's not gonna have any idea what's happening here. I'm just saying, right? Choose your character. Uh, can I just randomize them? Oh wait, no, no. These these are preset characters. <laughs> it's Reuben. It's Margaret. I get. How many of them are there? There's Chun, Hang, Nadia, Georges. That's all your characters. That's all of them. What's M M Massimo doing here if he's the CEO of, like, cars? He's probably already a millionaire. Okay, we gotta go Ruben. We gotta go Ruben. He looks absolutely full of himself. Consultant fashion. Okay.
Okay, press any button to continue. Are you ready? Oh, that music's probably copyright. Uh, Chris Tarrant, please don't sue. That's also copyright. It's the same music. <laughs> 15 questions, four lifelines, and a cash prize of one million. Welcome to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Let's start right away. His hands are bigger than his head. The handsomest dude is in the house. Good evening, Wait, what? everyone. So let's get started then. <laughs> 15 questions, four Who says lines, that? one million pounds. Best of luck. It's time to play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? That's not Jeremy Clarkson or Chris Tarrant. Well, you know the money letter. 15 questions. Oh, we're competing for pounds as well. Million. Who wants to win like 1.2 million dollars? To help you, you have four lifelines at your disposal. Four. Phone a friend, the 50 50, ask the audience, and flip the question. Holy oh, shit, it's so loud. Yeah, let me just lower Here's it a, a bit. New question for you. Okay, here we go. In film, what type of animal was King Kong? A lion? A dinosaur, a dog, <laughs> or a name. Uh, I, I mean, there's, there's... Of course it's D. Anyone else in my place would know it. It's pretty straightforward. I don't know what that means, Ruben. It, it's D. Oh, you gotta lock it in. That's my final answer. The choice is made. But take your time. Just <laughs> oh, we'll just you got it. take a moment to reflect and on your choice, sir. And the most cultured. Uh, what the most cultured, you dude. Know. You're not impressive for knowing that like King Kong's a monkey. This Come new on. question shouldn't give you a hard time, in theory. <laughs> no. <laughs> I <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. I'm out of my depth already. Um, I see. Bjorn, Dalid, uh, I'm gonna guess Norwegian. Final answer, Chris. I have no Final idea who they are. You sure? That will I see a B and a J answer. in the name. You have given your final answer. Now is the time <laughs> Just... to see the right one. That's an answer I can give. We're okay. Ka-ching! That's a okay, step up from, like, is King Kong a monkey? Box. Let's go for this new eliminatory question. Traditionally, how's the Olympic flame transported? On a bike, on foot, by car, by train. Well, it's well, like a com now. it's like a combination of things though. Then like the, the they're going to have to like get on a ferry or a plane at some point to get it overseas. I <laughs> just cycling while holding it the entire way. Uh, but like for the most part it's on foot. Let's roll. Let's roll, Ruben. Come on. Oh. Yes. He That's seems very unsure of himself. Answer. If this is your final answer, let's hope it's the correct <laughs> answer. <laughs> this feels like a plasticine representation nice of a human answer. being. If this is your final answer, let's hope it's your final way, answer. That's my final answer. Here's a new question for you. What's the title of Dan Brown's best-selling book? The Michelangelo Riddle, the Raphael Conundrum, the Botticelli Cipher, or the Da Vinci Code. I like the Michelangelo Riddle. I wish he titled the sequels like that. That would have been amazing. <laughs> uh, it is the Da Vinci Code. So this is your final answer? That will be my final answer. Now it's time to find out the correct answer. <laughs> Jesus, these people! <laughs> that is correct. That's pain. The handsomest and 
the most culture. You've already said that. We've already got repeat dialogue. We're the fourth question in, Ruben. Good luck to you for this new question. Oh my god, he's got like two lines. Uh, in the Superman and Lois series, what are the names of the sons of Clark and Lois? Ben and Jerry, Jonathan and Jordan. That's an ice cream. Lex and Lionel. Rox and Rocky. Well, um... Okay, so Rocky's not a real name. Ben and Jerry is the ice cream. But... Jonathan and Jordan are Lex and Lionel. He wouldn't call him Lex because Lex Luthor, so it's Jonathan and Jordan. I'm going to choose P. And what will be your final answer? Oh. Yes. Take That's your time, Ruben. Take your final time. Answer. If this is your final answer, <laughs> oh my god, it's the correct answer. <laughs> this money is safe now. Thanks Someone in this friend. game like failed to capture the prove you're human. That's what it feels like. <laughs> your new question is ready. Good luck. On television, Oz Clark is best known as an expert on what subject? I, I don't know who this is. Horse racing, DIY, fashion, wine. Who? How do I use my lifelines? What's shift to the pyramid? Wait, where are my lifelines? Wait, wait, where actually? They're up here. I'm gonna phone a friend. I hope you're not going to lose a friendship tonight. Fingers crossed. Yeah, I can call my uncle Mark, my brother Michael, nephew Eddie, or my father Paul. Okay, hang on. Let me give me one sec. Can we? Can we give me one second here? Okay, we're gonna see. Okay, it's ringing. Am I gonna call? <laughs> what happens if they don't pick up? What happens if you're on one of these shows as like, I'm gonna phone a friend and they're just not home? Do you waste your lifeline? <laughs> they didn't answer! <laughs> they didn't pick up! I tried calling them! <laughs> I, th I thought, are they not live? Hang on, I, I was actually calling someone. Okay, I, 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 let me try. I'm trying to call Kiwo. <laughs> Your journey. Hang on. Hello, friend. Do you have a minute? I'm on who wants to be millionaire and you are my friend. I'm just... Hang on Chris, wait wait a minute. Sorry, I, I look, she'll pick up. She's a good friend. She's not picking up. Perhaps come and find me. Oh, she's in D and D. She's. I thought she was. Oh, sorry. I thought she was playing like a D and D game. Sorry. You're all good, Kira. Okay. Your G. Whoops. My bad. Sorry, friend.
Okay, no. Okay, she's not. I, I'm gonna. Oh, we're gonna have to go with Michael. All right, come on, Michael. Hello, <laughs> Michael, my savior. Uh, I'm struggling with an awful question. You have to help me. <laughs> the great Reuben has met his match. <laughs> Come on, tell me. Michael, I sorry, I know you're performing in Panto tonight. If I were on the stage, I would say D. But I'm not there. Okay, th thanks, Michael. That was very cryptic. D. No doubts whatsoever. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah, sure, no doubts, no doubts. You seem to be convinced, but is this your final answer? We did have to literally call someone because we were unsure. Answer. Now it's time to find out the correct answer. Got it right. Got it right. Thank you, Michael. And a right answer for the coolest contestant. Bam. Coolest contestant right there, Ruben. You're doing great. Now let's go to the next question, if you don't mind. Which American basketball player made the dunk of the century by jumping over Frenchman Fred Wise and Sydney? To I don't know. <laughs> I know I've heard the name LeBron James. But I don't know who anyone else is. Uh, can we just get like a new question? We can flip it. The flip is made for these kind of situations. Let's change the question. Sure. It was Vince Carter. No idea who he is. I hope you have recovered from your emotions because here is your new <laughs> question. I'm in a lot of distress, Chris. Rounding the Cape of Good Hope takes a sailor from which ocean into uh, which ocean? Indian to Pacific. Indian to Atlantic. Arctic to Atlantic. Arctic to Pacific. Um. Uh, Cape of Good Hope. Should know this. I should know this. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, do, can, can I? I can pause the game. It's okay. Chris, I'm gonna need a little more time to deliberate this question. Um, Cape of Good Hope. That's. That's. Is that the end of Africa? No, I can't ask the audience. <laughs> I can't. Uh, so it's something with Atlantic. Okay. Yeah, it's that. Let's roll. I needed some extra time. I know you were waiting for me to ask you. So let's go. Is this your final answer? Oh, yes. He's so That's unsure of himself, Ruben. Me too, buddy. Answer. You didn't know, Chris, but we had another lifeline called the pause <laughs> your final answer. I hope it is the right one. Yes, we did. That is correct. Contestant is on his way, ladies and gentlemen. Ah. Ah. The game is getting tougher now with this brand new question. Okay, let's keep going. Whose debut solo album was titled Love Angel Music Baby? Don't know who that is. Don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. Wait! No, I know Rachel Stevens because they made fun of her on Dick and Dom the Bungalow one time, I think. I'm gonna ask the audience. Okay. Okay, audience. We need some help here. Okay. I'm looking at you, chat. Chat's just calling me a moron. <laughs> That's not what I was asking the audience. <laughs> I'm gonna ask the audience what they think Chris is like, you uncultured swine. <laughs> is it just me or is it always uh, let's B? Let's go with B. Is that your final answer? Well, 
<laughs> yes, that's my final answer. Has it always been B? Now it's time to find out the correct answer. Are we gonna be able to cheat the quiz? Yes, absolutely. The handsomest and the most cultured. So cultured, Ruben. I've, 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 look, I don't, I don't know most of these question, musicians. If you don't mind. If you don't mind. Which of these characters does not appear in the Shakespeare's play to play 12th now? Oh, fuck. I don't know. <laughs> so Toby Belch, Count Torsino, Andrew Aguchik, or Prospero? <laughs> I have no... Uh, well, it's always been B. No, Prospero- Prospero's a different character. What's Prospero in? I haven't read this play. I have the complete works of Shakespeare sitting on my shelf, and it's just the, as a conversation party piece. So I can be like, ah, Shakespeare! Without having to have gone into a Prospero. It's Prospero, Chris. Final? That's my final answer. All right. I read the spark notes on that one. Answer together. I wrote my essay on Hamlet and called it a day. That's all me. Perfection. <laughs> you will be asked. Prosper's from the Tempest. The sad thing is, I've actually read the Tempest. <laughs> Which is advertised in the 19th century as the ideal brain tonic. Geritol. Wesson oil. Coca it wasn't Coca-Cola, it wasn't Guinness. Okay. Uh, Coca-Cola was a digestive aid. Guinness is an iron supplement. It's good if you're pregnant, apparently. Or they want you to believe that. Maybe don't drink it. Guin point the Guinness if you're pregnant. Uh, Geritol or Wesson oil? Wesson oil sounds similar to snake oil, which means that it probably wasn't the ideal brain tonic, and B has been consistent. <laughs> Fuck, I'm gonna use the 50-50. Okay, let's take away two incorrect answers. Please knock it down to that. Fuck, what? It's no, it's not either of those! Wait, what? Coca-Cola is was advertised as a digestive aid to help with stomach problems. Guinness is fucking alcohol and it's probably gonna be a little less than an ideal brain tonic. Look, I just went to the Coke factory in Atlanta, right? Let's the Coke saved seat. the world. <laughs> Let's save some time. All right, F fuck it. I doubt it's Guinness. I, I feel like there's some kind of regulation against advertising alcohol as brain sure? juice. Well, yes, that's my final answer. You have made your. It choice. shouldn't be Coca-Cola. It it was advertised as like a digestive aid. So you are in good shape. We got the 32 pound. Somehow we've made it here. <laughs> the game is off to a good start, but you shouldn't stop there. I don't know how we're still at it. Question. The Marshall Plan was intended to help which countries on which continent after World War II? Oh, fuck. Oh. Should know this. For some reason, I was thinking it was Africa, but most likely it's just to help countries in Europe. Uh, it's been B a lot of the night, Chris. I'm gonna go B. You seem to be convinced, but is this your final <laughs> yes, answer? Yes, um, absolutely. That's my final answer. All right, let's find out the right answer together. You make it. Okay, we're good. You we're good. The best contestant is on his way, ladies and gentlemen. Ah. We're still in it. Ah. I hope you have recovered from your emotions, because here is your new question. <laughs> Sweating a bit, Chris. Who is the Roman goddess of wisdom? Vesta Juno. Diana. 
Minerva. Fuck, I should know this. <laughs> Chris, I just want to go home. <laughs> oh, he's giving us some extra time. Kiwo! Kiwo, who's, who's the Roman goddess of wisdom? Quick! What does Minerva do again? She was in a play I read. Deep. No doubt whatsoever. Obviously. What was the name of that Is one that again? Final? Yeah, okay. sure. Yes. That's my final answer. Now it's time to find out the correct answer. <laughs> the right answer. Oh wow. Ka-ching. Okay, we're sure, fuck it. the jackpot. Fuck it at this point. I should just walk away with the money. <laughs> I don't know why I'm still here. The game is off to a good start, but you shouldn't stop there. Here is a new question. Ellen Vannon is traditional name for which island? It's been B a lot of the night, Chris. Okay. B. Let's roll. You seem to be convinced, but is this your final answer? That will be my final answer. You have given your final answer. <laughs> now know. is the time to see the right one. Just it was <laughs> still in it. <laughs> That's all me. Perfection. That's me. <laughs> this new question is now waiting for you to be answered oh, with shit. flying colors. <laughs> with two questions away. The Italian artist uh, Filippo uh, Marinetti was particularly associated with which art movement? Oh fuck, I know this, I know this. I know this. Well now. Oh! I know this! I know Marinetti! It's not minimalism, it's not surrealism, it's impressionism or futurism. Do we go with B? Fuck, 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 shit! Okay, alright. Chris, I'm gonna deploy an uh, interesting strategy here. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by the toe. If he squeals, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Mo. <laughs> and now to the most important question of all. Is this your final answer? I don't know. <laughs> Shot in the back, Chris. Yes, that's my final answer. Okay, the computer validated your answer. Oh, the computer, we've got technology now. Time, <laughs> but you are right. And a right answer for the coolest contestant. Bam. I should really leave with the money. <laughs> oh shit. I hope you have recovered from your emotions because here is your new question. In which country was the world's first airmail service initiated in 1911? <laughs> it has to be B. It has to be B. <laughs> oh, he's given us a lot of time for this one. <laughs> Chris, I'm going to just say B, you know, I've uh, typed on my best tonight, you know. Sure. Maybe I win, maybe I don't, you just got to play where it lands sometimes. All right, let's find out the right answer together. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Yes, but the questions were so too hard. Well, he's just... <laughs> nice shot. He's Respect not even thinking about with the game. grieve. It's just it the questions really were too hard. The quiz is rigged. Player. 
Ruben, we were like fucking guessing. Oh, I just lost 400 grand. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I can't believe that. <laughs> we just came close. We came really close. I gained the brain cell currency. I think I already have enough brain cell currency. I I, I have like 978,000 neurons. Why do I have so many? <laughs> There's nothing for me to even spend that on anymore. Why do you have so many? I don't know. I just, I bought the game and that's how many I started it with. Two manga only. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, I'm gonna be so out of my depth. All right, that's the only one. Just, just the manga. Like, who wants to be a manga millionaire? Sammy, thank you for a thousand bits. Thank you very much. Missy Park, thank you for 500 bits as well. The music is bringing up childhood memories of being stressed out of my mind while watching this show. I hope today you can relive some of those memories. Oh, you need at least four picks to continue. Okay, general culture. Um... Let's just go like the pop culture. Not Harry Potter, Star Wars. Okay, we'll go with our boy Ruben again. <laughs> Tips! The 50-50 lifeline, lifeline gets rid of two wrong answers. It's like, wow. The switch the question lifeline switches the question. Incredible. Okay, we gotta go with Ruben. Round two. He was very close to winning last time. Hello, not Chris Tarrant. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Who phoned in his lines? I'm going to show you what I'm made of tonight. You won't be disappointed. You sound so unsure of yourself, so Ruben. Let's get started then. Fifteen questions, four lifelines, one million pounds. Best of luck. It's time to play <laughs> Ruben Sweet. <laughs> He's gonna clean up. To reach the million, we will climb this money ladder together. Step. He sounds step. like a fable NPC. He does. <laughs> to help you, you have four lifelines. At Chicken your chaser. Phone a friend. The 50/50. Ask the audience and flip the question. Like he does. Trust yourself and your acquaintances for this new question. Okay. Which of these body parts sounds like a letter of the alphabet? Ear, nose, throat. <laughs> oh, um. What what category was this under? The fucking ABCs. No doubt, really. Like, what? <laughs> you just gotta read them aloud. Final answer. You sure? That's my final answer. This is general culture. Like, what? The choice is made. Yeah, the general culture that is humans have eyes. Absolutely. That's all me. Perfection. I don't deserve a hundred pounds for that. And let's go for a whole new question. In the 2017 Justice League movie, who offers an amount of money for a conversation with Aquaman? 
This is a ramp up in difficulty. Oh fuck! <laughs> I don't. I don't know. James Gordon, what's what's he doing here? He's like the late night television presenter. I don't know, like Barry. Let's go for C. <laughs> Let's save some time. You seem to be convinced, but is this your final answer? That will be my final. I don't even know who he is. Maybe I should have picked you Bruce Wayne, but that seems like too answer. obvious. It can't just be now that. Is the time to see the right trick question? Can't just be Batman. It's well, sad, shit. It's the game. <laughs> this is not the right answer. Yes, but the questions were also too hard. Oh, because he gives some money. Oh. I never have bet on such a Bruce quick Wayne end. has money. How sad. <laughs> well, it's a short, short show tonight, uh, Chris. Play. Solo. This game is mainly composed of text. What is that? What's the difference between normal and quick? Oh, quick is like it does none of the animations, is there? Oh, let's just get yeah, let's just turn them off. Perfect. Yeah, general culture and Disney. Let's just see how this looks like. Put Ruben's witty remarks down. <laughs> okay, let's see what it looks like now. No one here. Oh, we're just going. Which of these refers to the most basic and important details of something? The bitty dizzy, the wizzy pretty, the petty betty. I believe it's the nitty gritty. <laughs> the petty betty. Cause <laughs> like no fanfare at all. <laughs> Which household object is most likely to have a hob on top? The cooker. <laughs> it's so soulless. What type of rings are featured in the song The Twelve Days of Christmas? Five gold rings. Speed run to a million. The company Sab at Ikea bought RJ to which country? Sweet! What sort of letter is sent to break off a relationship? What? New question, please. Who is actor Kate Hudson's mother? Give me a 50-50. Susan! <laughs> no. well, that, 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 that has no soul. If you could call it, like, Blasticine Chris Tarrant, the soul of this game. That was so quick. Questions with a level of difficulty and themes accessible for the youngest players. There's no timer in this game mode. Oh, we gotta try that soon. Okay, with the timer. Same categories as before, please. Yeah, people are begging me to play as Pablo. He's retired and his passion is tap dancing. Oh, I love him already. Okay. It's the up guy. <laughs> it does look a bit like him. Yeah, maybe I should turn off general culture, because general culture seems to be, it's like, did you read the tabloids? I don't know who anyone is. Hello and 
who is surely seeing now? Uh, who cares? I don't know. Oh, look at this guy. Make way for your elders. I'm going to rock it. <laughs> That's how the kids say it these days, right? Oh no, he's me. Are you ready to make some money? Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. <laughs> no. <laughs> 15 questions to reach the million. We will climb this money ladder together, step by step. To help you, okay. we have four lifelines. Have our lifelines. Can't skip this bit. 50 50, ask the audience. This is my future. This is what it looks like. It's very dark. And let's go for a whole new question. Which of these we tossed using a pitchfork? Spaghetti. <laughs> Look, I'm just saying they have to make a lot of spaghetti in Italy, right? They really like their pasta. Let's think. Hmm. There's got to be some industry somewhere where that's how you do it. It's more efficient. Well, I'm gonna try. How do you these. toss a pancake with a pitchfork? And now to the most important question of all. To spaghetti is harvest. <laughs> um, that's my final answer. The choice is made. It's time to discover the right answer. Is that your answer. final answer? Yes, that is my final answer. Just Let's discover the right it. answer. Congrats. You got See, the answer. Experienced contestants always win the day. You've never been on this show, Pablo. I well, we he might have. He's old. We can move on to this new question. Which of these is the name of an Oscar-winning actor? <laughs> oh wait, no, they're they're all based on Jamie Foxx, but they've just put animals in. Hedgehog. <laughs> I, I I only know this one because like this guy's a real person. I would say Jamie me. Badger and Owl no don't exist. Jamie the Sonic Hedgehog. Here we go with this. I know you are waiting for me to ask you. So let's go. Is this your final answer? That's my final answer. Let's see if your answer oh, is the I right answer. Wait to see the correct answer. Of course. Of course. With that, if I'm not the star of the family when I go back. Like, dude, you only made 200 pounds. Are you ready for this new question? Traditionally, who will be most likely to use a plow in his work? A blacksmith? <laughs> An archer? A farmer? Or the green gross? Oh, the green gross has hit our times. Yeah, there's no supply chains anymore. He's got to sell direct. Which is still makes him a farmer. C is the right answer. I would stake my life. Alright, Pablo, calm down here. You're only playing for like 300 pounds now. You had to make a choice. Is that your final answer? Oh, <laughs> I'd, get, I'd yes, put it, remortgage my, my house answer. on this question. I'm a gambling man, Chris. The choice is made. I used it's the last of my finances to make it to the right studio. Answer. Just own it. You got it. That just goes to show that my memory is still in good shape. Poor Pablo, he's doing his best. I think we all agree that we can move on to this new question. How did Carol want to fly his house to Paradise Falls? <laughs> Pablo, how did you get home? Come on. You were there. You starred in this movie. <laughs> Come on, Pablo. Think. You have to find. You just gotta remember. Answer. <laughs> Get C, right? Okay, C. He can hear us. So this is your final answer? That's my final answer. Oh my god, it's so pay <laughs> Now it's time to find out the correct This answer. feels like fulfill like you know building in a capture where you gotta pick all the images with traffic C. lights Experience every time contestants always you pick an answer. <laughs> It's Let's so go slow. Question. What number is Peyton on Lightning McQueen's sides? I've, I've never seen it, Kyrus. 
If I had to guess, it's number one. Because he's number one. Um... I'm gonna see if I can phone a friend again. Of course, you need to phone someone who knows the answer. This is an important question. It's like, can I phone a friend? Uh, hey Google. <laughs> what number is on Lightning McQueen's side? Google. Hey Google. Hey Google. What number is painted on Lightning McQueen's sides? It just gave me an image. <laughs> it's not even talking on the phone. It doesn't want to say anything. Like, this is just cheating. I, sh I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have done this. <laughs> I want to call, like, who is least likely to know? I want to hear from someone who says, like, fuck, I don't know or something. Zelda, our wife. Presumably, she's old. You might not know. Yes, hello. I'm listening. Good evening. Oh, this she needs a strap so there. Be a millionaire, and Pablo needs your wisdom. Well, I'm going to do my best then. Zelda, you're my last hope on this one, but don't put too much pressure on yourself. <laughs> Fifteen seconds not left. Too much. It's D. I'm confident about it. That's the right answer. 75 years of wisdom have led to this moment where Zelda knows that 95 is on the side of Lightning McQueen. It's D, I think. I I'm choosing D. I can't use call Google again. That, that did just make me cheat. Are you absolutely sure? Is that your final answer? Oh, yes. That's my final answer. Incidentally, she's also 95 years old. If this is your final She answer, sounded it. Let's hope it's the correct answer. You've reached that threshold, the money is safe. Uh. So let's move on to a whole new question. Okay. Which dish consists of cold chicken in a curry and apricot flavored sauce? Christening chicken, celebration chicken, coronation chicken, a ceremonial chicken. Well, now. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna ask the audience. You decided to appeal to the audience, who will vote now okay. to help you. It's C, it's coronation chicken. Is it any good? Cold chicken in a curry and apricot flavored sauce. Is it tasty? Sounds a bit icky to me. It's all right. Shisho chicken. <laughs> okay, coronation chicken. See, no doubt about it. Celebration chicken. Like, the special occasion. <laughs> Bring out the, the, the good chicken. Final answer? You sure? Um, that's my final answer. The choice is made. It's time to discover the right answer. Is it C? Takes so long to get the answer. Yeah, there's been no manga questions. This is gonna be like 
such a swing when one of these come up for the first time. There's been none so far. A new question now. The mythology was the twin of Castor. <laughs> I, I've oh. no idea. Um. Just give me a new question. <laughs> Let's flip the question right now, hoping that the new one will bring you luck. Yo, know, uh, Chris, this isn't what I studied for. I'll be honest with you. I was uh, half expecting something to, to do with Sword Art Online Season 3. I've been holding out against hope. I did all my research. And the James Stewart's films are the same name. What type of invisible animal was Harvey? Dog, a cat, a bird, or a rabbit. <laughs> Gonna have to use another lifeline. Okay, take away two random wrong answers. Dog or a rabbit? Harvey the dog, Harvey the rabbit. Would I call a dog Harv, or would I call a rabbit Harv? I would call a rabbit Harv. It's D, I think. Well, actually, I'm sure of it. it. Just seems more appropriate. You know what my next question is, right? Is this your final answer? Oh, yes, that's my final answer. Skip it. <laughs> there we go. See. Experienced contestants always win the day. Okay, Harvey the Rabbit. We got it. The game is off to a good start, but you shouldn't stop there. Here is a new question. Who wrote the novel Our Mutual Friend? Where is the manga? I should know this. <laughs> I should really notice. It's not Austin. Um, it's not Austin. Uh, it's probably not Dickens. It's probably not Hardy. I don't think it's Hardy. Elliot. B for me. And what will be your final answer? Um, that's my final answer. I'm more confident it's not this Thomas Hardy than I am answer. it is George Eliot. Let's hope it's the I don't think answer. it's the other two. Oh, no. Fuck. <laughs> so close. Well, well, the old geezer messed up. I should know that one. <laughs> well, at least you didn't lose anything. I don't believe it's the other trade. All right, hang on. Okay, we got to redeem ourselves. This is this is looking bad for us. Let's go, like, the English major, like, round, okay? Let's see how much of my degree I remember. Because clearly it's not doing well. We even put the shame on Bloomsday. I'm going to go without timer. Give me a chance. The arts, literature, okay? All right, we're, we're going to go with some categories. Arts, literature, I have no excuse. I should know this. General culture, I'm sick of because it's like, who is actor you haven't heard of? Stepsister, I don't know. Entertainment, I would love to do, but it's gonna be the same problem. I'll, I'll keep in manga. I'll keep in manga. <laughs> History, because it's really gonna embarrass me if I don't know these. Language, I feel like it's going to be foreign languages and that, and I'm actually very bad at that. We'll go basic geography, because I'm really going to suck. These are my categories, Chris. Hey, Pablo's doing his best. <laughs> it's like literature, history, geography. Attack on Titan, the final season. <laughs> Thank you. 
Pablo's got some varied experiences <laughs> under his belt. What's the capital of France? In Shakespeare's Hamlet. And it's like, in Boku no Hero Academia. Welcome. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Okay, let's go. Come on, Pablo. Make way for your elders. I'm going to rock it. Oh God, That's you're trying, Pablo. These days, right? New question coming up. Good luck to you. Okay. Traditionally, who would sit on a throne? Farmer? A lawyer? Queen? The king show up. <laughs> Am I gonna get some brownie points, Chris, if I pick this one? <laughs> C is the Pretty sure answer. it's the queen. I would stake my life on it. Final answer? You sure? Yes, that's my final answer. There we go. We're gonna skip it because it's painfully long. What <laughs> count is not part of Luffy's crew in One Piece? I don't fucking know. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. All right. I think it's time. Okay. Hang on. Wait. I might do my phone a friend. I'm just seeing. I can hold on to it if they're not going to pick up the phone again. <laughs> it's like Pablo is like, I don't, I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> I know. I have no fucking idea. Let me, let me, let me see. Okay, let me let me let me try cop. Phone's ringing. I mean, Baggy doesn't sound like a real character. I'll save my lifeline. It just big up. I, I, I... <laughs> it's like. Wow, this friend really doesn't like answering the phone in times of need. You're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> I'm gonna lose the million pound, Kiwo. Uh, Baggy doesn't sound real. D, I think. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm sure of it. You know what my next question is, right? Is this your final answer? That's my final answer. You have given your final answer. Oh my god, just show me the answer. Thank you. You got it. Okay, Baggy's not real. Baggy's not real. I'm not the star of the family when I go back. Remember when Baggy said it's bagging time. Love that scene. It's time to move on to a new question. A liver pudlian is a native of which city? Is it, is it Liverpool? Is it? I would say D, obviously. Are you absolutely? Where does a Dubliner sure? come is from? Your final is answer? it Paris? Oh. London? Yes, that's my final answer. The choice is made. Got it right. Thank you. Okay, we talked about a member of a fr fraternal organization. Mason is short for what? What? <laughs> Chris, what does a fraternal organization mean? 
A Freemason is, is a term I've heard before. I don't know if these actually mean anything. Like an old mason. A round mason doesn't sound right. A long... Yeah, the rest of these just sound fake, whereas a Freemason is a term I've actually heard. <laughs> you know what my there might be a, a round mason you among them, final answer? you know? That's my final answer. Oh, I can't wait to see the correct answer. There might be a long That's mason, correct. an old mason, that just but they're, to show they're not, they're not the term. Memory. So let's move on to a, whole a new, new question. question. What was the nickname of the British King Alfred? Alfred the Great, Alfred the Splendid, Alfred the Brilliant, Alfred the Good. It's it's the Great, isn't it? It's always the Great. Then like they, they lack all modesty. It's never like Alfred the above average. Alfred the decent human being. The fucking fantastic. I'm going to pick A. Are you absolutely sure? Is that Alfred the adequate? <laughs> um, that's my final answer. The choice is made. Well, you there we go. To that important threshold. Thousand pounds. Thousand pounds. Okay. I haven't spent this many years educating myself to not know the answer to this question. What was the name of the slave who read a revolt of gladiators against the Romans? Is this the film 300? No, this is... No, that's something different. <laughs> no, that's something different. Uh... That's just calculus. Yeah, that's like, that's a field of maths. That's an abacus. It's not those two. That's, that's calculus and an abacus. They've just thrown those ones in. Um... I mean, uh, I'm, I'm guessing this one's Spartacus. He fits in somewhere, and the reason I also think it's not Marcus is because David Cage has a character who kind of leaves a revolt, and he's going for this big old metaphor in there somewhere. Right? So it's Spartacus. It's D, I think. I I'm choosing D. <laughs> As a Roman historian, I'm dying. It's gotta be calculus. It's gotta be calculus. Final answer? You sure? That'll be my final answer. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, it's Spartacus. That's where he fits in. Abacus and calculus. One more right answer. <laughs> just oh, my goodness, what talent! <laughs> I just threw those in. Um, During which war did the invasion of No? We can skip this I'm one. Sure of it. That's it. At which point was uh, Bruno's ship Great Western built and launched? Um. Oh, it's always a weird one. This is like how like the Titanic was built in Belfast. Um. I I don't know though. I, I, we still have all our lifelines. Yeah, we could, we could use one here. Uh, let's use, let's use a cheeky ask the audience. the audience to choose what they think is the right answer. Come on, Good chat. Luck. Chat doesn't know. <laughs> oh, the audience doesn't know either. <laughs> they don't think it's Bristol. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's so A. <laughs> I 
I don't think it was Bristol. I'm gonna just go out on a whim and say this one isn't Belfast. Where's Portsmouth? I don't I don't even know. B does have port in the name. It's true. It's on the southwest coast of England. Okay. It does have port in well, the name. I'm gonna try B. Let's give it a shot. So this is your final answer? Oh. Yes. That what? This is the wrong answer. It's the end for you. Why did the audience oh, get it wow. so wrong? Great. What a failure. I'm not proud of myself. You are leaving with your guaranteed cash. <laughs> oh my. You played a Why good they... game. Good no one knows. That must be like a really hard question. None of them knew. They were convinced it wasn't that one. Oh, they really fucked us. I gotta go again. Yeah, I like it without timer. It gives me a bit more time to think. As you might have inferred from... <laughs> Brilliant sentence, Daniel. Pinnacle of English. Manga only, please. I don't think you can set it to manga only. I want, like, the million dollar question, or well, the million pound question to just be, like, some unbelievably specific piece of manga. But no one will know. Like, that'd just be amazing. What sort of animal is Lagoshi, the main protagonist of the Beast Stars? It's the first question. I don't know. I've uh, just give me a new question. I don't have time for this. The blip is made for these kind of situations. Let's change the. I have question. no fucking idea, Chris. It's a wolf. Okay. Let's go for this new eliminatory question. Which of these is a range of hills in England? <laughs> Bedswolds. The bunk swords, cot swords, the crib swords. I feel like it's the bed swords because everything else is just a variation of what a bed is. Oh, but that could be the logic to any of them. It's the first fucking question. <laughs> Let me see. Can I phone a friend? This <laughs> is the phone line open. It might not be. <laughs> it might not be. <laughs> no, I don't think it's open. All right, we're on our own. Okay, the grave swords and the bunk swords sound made up. It's either the bed swords or the cot swords. Gonna have to ask the audience. Okay, guys, this is an important question. If you would pick up those keypads and enter your votes now. It's C. Okay. Uh, but this isn't gonna like trick me and say that like, it's A again or something. It's actually C. Yep, C, right? Okay. Okay, C. We're two lifelines down. Is that that's what we were looking <laughs> for? That's right. We've used half our lifelines. The first question's done. Oh, a relief. Hundred pounds. It's so a bad. New question for you. Which of these is a place someone frequently visits? Hang up. A hang. <laughs> a hang dog. Uh, that's a hangout. Right answer. I would stake my. The rest of these aren't real. Is that your fun? You figured it out perfectly. A hang dog. What does that even mean? For this new Which of these is a specific region in Northwest England? They're all UK centric. 
The stream sector. Oh, if they're all variants on the one real one, I know the Lake District is real. I would say B. I have no doubt. Yeah. My brother went sure? there a while back. I know that one's real. That'll be my final uh, I think they're all like trying to be variants of the one real one. Your final there yes, we go. Absolutely. With that, if I'm not the star of the family when I go back. Yeah. In the fairy tale, uh, who did the mirror declare was the fairest of them all? It's not Rapunzel. <laughs> How can I not remember this? I can't remember if it's Sleeping Beauty or Snow White. I don't think it's... It's not Cinderella. No. But it might be. No. No, it's not. How can I not... It's Snow White. It's Snow White. It's Snow White. No doubt about it. I know you were waiting for me. Just Thank you. You got it. I couldn't remember. One more right answer. <laughs> it's time to move on to a new question. What is the capital of Ethiopia? Oh. I simply do not know. <laughs> Come on, Pablo. Think. You have to find the right answer. I don't know. I'm I'm so bad with like geography and like my capital cities. Somehow, when I was a kid, this is, um I remember we entered like a community games thing for like general knowledge and trivia, and our team of four like actually came like second or something in the county. Which was insane. I don't know how we did it. I'm starting to believe maybe my teammates carried me. <laughs> um, I... I... Okay, I'm gonna... Can I phone a friend? Hang on. Phone and friend, I'm calling. Maybe. No. No, she's not picking up again. I'm on my own. I'm on my own. Okay, disconnect. Uh, 50-50. Okay, let's take away two incorrect answers. Please knock it down to that. It's this one, isn't it? Well, I'm going to try B. Final answer? That's I'm going to pick B again, answer. Chris. That strategy worked well for a different contestant on the show. You have given your f you got to the threshold. Money is safe. Our uh, Which London Street became famous for its many second hand bookshops. Tottenham Court Road. Mary Lee Bond Road. Charon Cross Road. Finchley Road. The so I don't know the UK. <laughs> it keeps asking. Wait, okay, wait, 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 hang on. Phone a friend, phone a friend, phone a friend. Hello? Hello. Oh, thank God, Kiwa, I need help. I'm on okay. Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Right. Um, and it's a UK centric question. I'm out of my depth. We have 30 seconds, right? Oh, um, God. Which London street became famous for its many secondhand bookshops? Oh, is, Jesus fucking Christ. Is it uh, Tottenham Court Road, Marylebone Road, Charon Cross Road, or Finchley Road? See, the only... Uh, 20 seconds. Um, 
see, all I'm all I'm being drawn to is Tottenham Court Road because it's one of the big ones, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so sorry. That's okay. Just... How's your day been? Yeah, we lost a party member in D and D. Oh, I'm sorry to hear it. Well, I have to go now. I'm so sorry. I'm I'm going with Finchley. Oh, why is my battery running out? Oh no, my. my... She's gone. Uh, let's go with Finch. It's D, I think. Well, actually, I'm sure of it. <sighs> let's go with Finch. Who knows? You were waiting for me to ask you. So let's go. Is this your final answer? Yes. I Fuck. <laughs> you should have listened to that voice. That's should have called Smith. Answer. Yeah, I should have called Smith. Well, well, the old geezer messed up again. You <laughs> messed up again, Pablo. You played a good game. Good try. Uh, I need something. Okay, I need something that's not like UK geography. I, I can't. I can't do UK geography anymore. I need it to only be my specialist subjects. Okay, nerd round. Nerd round. Okay, Disney. We'll go manga. No, I, I don't know manga. It, this should be one of my specialist subjects, but I'm not... I am <laughs> more confident in Star Wars than I am my arts degree. Um, I've read Harry Potter. All right, fine. We'll go with it. Okay. I've seen a lot of Marvel films, if that would help. Specifically DC Comics. That's a very niche. Your degree is on the line. I, I, I've seen a lot of the Harry Potter movies, like time and time again. I might be able to do something there. We'll go with Disney. Fuck, I'll try language. I might be able to, like, weasel my way through it. <laughs> Anime, please. No, it doesn't help. I have to just use a lifeline every time. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Who sings Let It Go in the animated movie? Fro I actually haven't seen Frozen, but... The other characters aren't in it. I'm gonna say A. Final? You took your time. This new what is the name of Bambi's best rabbit friend? Wait, wait. I'm phoning a friend. No. No, we lost her. <laughs> Her battery did die. That's true. Uh. It's D, I think. Well, actually, <laughs> I'm sure of it. Is that your final answer? That'll be my sure. final answer. Oh, I can't wait to see that. Yes. You are okay, right. we're good. Let's go for this new eliminatory. If you're aware of the latest news and developments, who are you... Why are you set, said to have a finger? In the pie? On the pulse? On the nail? In the eye? Um. It's not in the pie. On the nail is when you got something right. 
In the eye doesn't sound like a phrase, so on the pulse, I've never heard of this saying. But that's the only one it could be. In the pie means something else, on the nail means something else. In the eye doesn't apply here. So this is your final answer? Yes, that's my final answer. Okay, the computer validated your answer. Okay. That's an answer. I On the pulse, behind. sure. One more right answer. <laughs> this new question shouldn't give you a hard time. What is the name of the African red billed hornbill that follows Simba around? There's so much Disney. I haven't seen The Lion King. <laughs> okay, Iago, uh, that's Aladdin. Uh... Uh, I'm gonna ask the audience here. You decided to appeal to the audience, who will vote now to help you. They're saying the audience is saying some real mean things to me, Chris. Uh, but I think the answer is Zazu. I'm going to pick A. Are you absolutely <laughs> sure? Is that your? Where's like the? Where's like the uh, uh, niche Gen 5 competitive Pokemon you category? Your That's my area of expertise. You took your time, but you are right. That just goes to show that my memory is still in good shape. Okay, good we're luck. still going. According to the familiar saying, pride goes before a fall. Well, I'm gonna try B. You seem to be convinced, but is this your final answer? The language is just like yes, common sayings. That's my final That's what answer. it means. You got there. Well done. Pride goes before a fear. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. What is the name of Geppetto's goldfish? I've, I've, I've never seen Pinocchio. I only saw the live action version. It's not Nemo. Uh, Chris, I'm gonna, I'm gonna phone a friend again. Okay, let's call a friend. Okay, all right. Phone a friend. Bring it. Phone's ringing. I don't hi. know any Disney. Kimo, hi. You don't know any Disney. Hello. Uh, hi, I'm on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire again. Okay. I'm trying to what win the million. Um, and I picked Disney as my category, but it turns out I don't know a lot of Disney. Uh, 20 seconds. Okay. Uh, the question is, what is the name of Geppetto's goldfish? I know it's not Nemo, but is it Vito, Cleo, or Theo? Cleo. I'm pretty sure it's Cleo. You're pretty sure it's Cleo? I'm pretty have sure. Have you seen Pinocchio? I have seen Pinocchio. He is a creepy little bastard. And okay. it has, he's got the scariest dark ride at Disneyland. Monstro is a fucking nightmare. Oh, they actually got a dark ride for him at uh, Disneyland. Yes, That's they a... do, man. Yes, they do. Oh, that actually sounds kind of... Oh, I gotta go. Sorry. Uh... Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, Cleo. Well, oh, I, I have to still call someone to get this joke done. Uh, let's call the Sun CEO. Good evening. You're live on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. I still have to call someone. Good some. evening. Uh, how are you? Very good. I'm in good company, but now we need your yeah, We got your dad here. Well, especially me in this instance. Listen up, Theo, because I'm really drawing a blank here. Well, that's great since I know the answer. Okay. See. Twice confirmed. We got the phone two friends. We jo we got to join like a Discord voice chat for phone See, friend. No doubt about it. Perfect. You know what my next question is, right? Is this your final answer? You pulled it off. We got it. Okay. Oh, two thousand pounds in the bank. He doesn't know where to put his hands, going, does he? Going to make short work oh, that looks question. really unnatural. Barney Rude and Martin Chuzzlewit are two title characters created by which art? 
I should know this. That does sound like Dickens. That is Dickens, isn't it? I'm pretty sure that's Dickens. Yeah. Yeah. Marriage and Chuzzlewit. Yeah, that has to be. I would say D, obviously. And now to the most important question of all. That has to be. Is this? That's what we're, we're good. For I got right. that one. See, my Dickensian senses are alert. Always win the day. I read the Spark notes for Bleak House. The game is getting tougher now. With this, I was short on time. Question. I was I was spending a lot of time. On like House of Leaves and uh, my other modules. Which character in a book is most associated with the great glass element? Caractus Potts. Okay, I mean, well, it's Willy Wonka. This is this is Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. So, but it should be Willy Wonka. I'm gonna say A. Charlie's as close as we're gonna get. Who's Caractus? I know the other characters. Answer? Is that a dial character? That'll be my final answer. Chishy chishy bang bang, really. If this is your final answer. Let's hope it's the correct answer. Yes, absolutely. Okay, well we got it. With that, if I'm not the star We've heard you before, Pablo. Caractus and the chocolate factory. As well? Charlie and the Caractus factory. What profession was the 17th century figure? Moliere famous. If I had to guess, he's a playwright. And I'm gonna have to guess. I do have a 50-50. But my category I chose Specifically was literature, so it wouldn't make sense unless he's kind of related to that. These are performers, craftsmen. This is an actual writer in literature. It's D, I think. I I'm choosing D. You know what my next question is, right? Is this your final answer? Is this an otter? Yes, that's the question. My final answer. No meta game. <laughs> oh, just a you got it. That's how you get through these quizzes. See? You don't need to know the right answer, you need to know what the wrong ones are. Win the day. I hope you have recovered from your emotions, because here is your new question. Okay. Who saves Pinocchio from the cage that he was locked in? Wow. Oh, I still haven't seen Pinocchio! <laughs> Why is there two Pinocchio questions? Uh... He gets... Jiminy Cricket is a character in Pinocchio. I don't think he saves himself. Small Cricket Man. <laughs> final? That'll be my final. It makes answer. sense if he would save. The Blue the Fairy, I have no idea who that is. Find out the correct answer. The oh, fuck? <laughs> you were so close. Well, well, the old... Geezer mess. I don't. I haven't seen Pinocchio. Why did you ask two questions about that movie? Okay, we're going to go easy mode. All right. Come on, Pablo. Don't even get to pick the categories for this one. I want to see what the questions are in easy mode. Here we go. Your new question is ready. Good luck. How do you read a manga comic? Back to Anna. <laughs> With special class. Uh, from right to left. B for me. Are you absolutely sure? Is that your final it's answer? It's a trick question, you don't. That is correct. Our team of editors offers you Jesus, a first of all, question. a cheese-eating animal and a tool you use with a computer. Hat, 
Dark? Um, oh, okay. Right. I was wondering where I was going with that. A screen is not an animal. See, no doubt about it. You seem to be can. You figured it out perfectly. Nice. Do I still get the cash prize for easy mode? With that, if I'm not the star of the family. 200 pound. Yes, yes, I do. Ready for this new question? When do you use a period? In the middle of a. <laughs> Never. <laughs> At the end of a sentence. All right. I would say D, obviously. Wait, 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 why did it switch? I know you are waiting for me to ask you. you took your the time. end of a sentence. It's what is the capital of Lu It's a trick question. It's Luxembourg. It's D, I think. Because it's so it's small. D. You have Well done. You got it. Your new question is ready. Good luck. <laughs> what is the virtual carrots? Is it Fortnite dollars? <laughs> Fucks. Is it fuck bucks, V bucks, Let's... or Euro bucks? Hmm. Wow. I I think it's V bucks. C, right? Okay, C. And what? You took a shot, and now you can't lose your money. Thousand pound. <laughs> Fucking F bucks. What's the difference between a novel and a novella? The length, the language, the rhymes, the direction you read it. Uh, it Let's is the length. Final answer? Yes. You are novella right. is shorter. Okay, what do you call words that refer to the same idea? It's synonyms. It's sy uh, I. I'm gonna say. You had to make a choice. I didn't hesitate. I can get behind. Takes me a moment on those ones. How many liters of blood flow through it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is a bit different than the previous questions. What? I have no fun. Phone a friend. This is a weird phone a friend question. Hello, Kiwo. Sorry, I, I, I'm so sorry. I have to keep calling. I got a real sinister question on who wants to be a millionaire that I could okay. use your help with. Um, how many liters of blood flow through an adult human body? Eight. Well, the options are one, two, four, or five. Wait, what? Wait, no. What? I thought it was eight. Wait. Shit. <laughs> I don't Wait. know. Wait, what? What? Okay, in that case, if it's like just consistently flowing, I don't know. Wait, one, two, five. How much blood um, is there in a body? Is is the body intact? Like, I thought it was eight. I. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, eight pint. Wait, <laughs> I put five. I'd say five. We have a lot, right? Uh, maybe. Am I dumb? I don't I know. Like... The last question, can I just say, is like, what currency is used in Fortnite? And one of the options was fuck bucks. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> what? I don't okay, know. Yeah. Like this question just came out of nowhere. <laughs> Disney questions, dude. I don't know. It's supposed to be the easy mode, but then it's randomly asking how many liters of blood flow through an adult human. I, 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 get, I, I thought, okay, my life has been shattered. I'm it's gonna okay. have to like brush up on basic biology. It's okay. Um, well, I, I really have to hang up now. Chris Tarrant's looking okay. at me funny. I'm sorry. Um, but oh. ha have a wonderful night. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. You take care. You too. I'll let you know if I win the million. She's already gone. Okay. <laughs> oh fuck, I don't know. <laughs> Let's ask the audience. I need some help here.
They're they're kind of unsure, but they're leaning towards five liters as well. Okay, we're gonna go we're gonna go five liters of blood. D, I think. Well, actually, I'm sure of it. Pablo, have you seen something that we haven't? <laughs> you seem to be convinced, but is this your final answer? Um, that's my final. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Absolutely. We're good. Oh, what a relief! I did say the most. <laughs> Thank you, Kyo. Will you be able to answer this new question as well? Okay. How many forms of the verb to be are there? What? Like? Oh, fuck. Like? What? Okay. What? What way is? This? Like, I am, I was, I will be. Is that what it's asking? I would be. Conditional. So it should be four, shouldn't it? But what about Toby? Like, that that's what it's asking, isn't it? I am, I was, I will be. No, no, that's tenses. That's tenses. Right. I am. We need a fucking 50 50. From now on, the 50 50 will remove two wrong answers to get you out of this predicament. Okay, all right, it's not eight. That's too many, it's four. I would say D, obviously. Are you absolutely sure? Is that your final I could have got it right by the yes. wrong logic. That's my- Fuck! <laughs> but it's the game. This is not the right answer. Oh, well. Didn't see that coming. Oh, that was the wrong answer. But the good news is, you are walking out of here with your guarantee- Eight seems like prize. too many! Well, at least I got a thousand pounds. That's some pension money for the kids. Children's game! That was the easy mode, too. Also, what's the point in playing this online? Like, if you play this game online with someone, your opponent is cheating. There's no way they're not. There's no way. International. We can try it. We can play with up to 99 players. Let's get the entire Who Wants to Be a Millionaire community online. This. <laughs> Does anyone own this game? <laughs> Does anyone actually have this? You're the entire community. I'll be impressed at this point if one person joins the lobby. This is so sad. <laughs> Reminder, you're alone. <laughs> yeah, there's like 5,000 people watching the stream too. No one has it. Shit, there's someone out there. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Oh my god. And there's one other person. This is who wants to be a millionaire. Let's go for this new eliminatory question. 
Do we get to see him? What color is a polar bear? White. Now the camera just looks at Chris Tarrant now. We don't we don't get to see ourselves in the chair. That question didn't tighten the noose on anyone since everyone answered correctly. Okay. Excellent. Still in Trust it. yourself and your acquaintances for this new question. What name is given to a person skilled in shooting? Max Hughesman. Luke's... Uh, Max... I thought that was like a YouTube channel name. It's Matt! The wise man! That's what it looks like. Everyone read that question quickly and answered correctly. Congratulations to everyone. Do I still get lifelines? Fuck, I don't have any. Let's go for this new eliminatory question. Which two articles I associate with billiards? Q and a ball, puck and stick, racket, uh, Q and ball. We are your lifelines. We gotta beat this one guy who owns the game. It looks like that question wasn't a problem for any of us. They could be watching the stream, but they, they could just and they, they could also just be cheating. We've no idea what way of knowing. Trust yourself and your Which French phrase means the very best. Question. Le delay, sir, the sir. Creme de la creme. It's five thousand people versus one guy. It's still in it. That question didn't seem to pose a problem for anyone. Well done. Okay, next question. So let's move on to a whole Which new powerful question? weapon did France test at uh, Moreau Atoll in the Pacific in 1973? The hybrid garlic ball. <laughs> I doubt it's that one. Uh, hydrogen bomb. What the fuck is a hybrid garlic bowl? That question didn't tighten the noose on anyone since everyone answered correctly. Okay. Excellent. We're still in it. Uh, the I most important weapon of mass destruction to use against vampire armies. Question. Which of these countries doesn't have a coastline? Spain does, France does, Portugal does, Austria does not. Still in it. We can beat him. Everyone made it through amazingly, since no one gave any wrong answers to that question. Bravo to all of you. Are we being stream sniped? <laughs> the guy is here. Are Ready they? to face the traps of this next question? Good luck to you. We're being sniped on fucking who wants to be a millionaire? Uh, Le uh, Leonard, Adolf, Julius, Wilson, and Herbert are better known by which name? Is it the Marx Brothers? I don't know. Thank you. Okay. I have seen the Marx Brothers. The is yet to there are five of them. Sure that you can I knew that. All the way to the top of the rankings. Keep going. There's like two that make like only occasional appearance. Like Zeppo and what's the other one? Groucho, Chico, Harpo are the main ones. You will be asked a new we question won! now. We won! We won! nationality is the model? Uh, you sell the bunch of, Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. When in doubt, be it out. <laughs> Still in it. We won't give up, and we're going to keep picking the right answers so we can go as far as we can. 
Let's go. Now that you've released the pressure, here's a new question. Okay. In African folktales, what type of creature is uh, a Nancy? A leopard. <laughs> oh damn it. And it's over for you, unfortunately. It's okay, we beat the other, the one other guy who owns this game. We proved ourselves. First place. Rematch. It actually is verb, yep. The two people who own this game. <laughs> internationally. Take that, Burb! <sighs> I, well, I think we've seen the entire game at this point. I don't... I want to see if I can get the million again. I came so close that first time. I'm gonna go without the timer, because the timer stresses me. Okay, turn off DC Comics and the Olympics. I don't know TV, I don't know soccer. I don't know entertainment or lifestyle. I don't know superheroes either. I don't actually know world food. <laughs> turn on that one. Turn off Disney. I do not know much about Disney. Probably don't know enough about Harry Potter, but I got I gotta put something here. I have to put something here. If it was between like real science and Star Wars, I'd be more confident with Star Wars. Okay, I'll you can make fun of me again. Let's see what this qualifies as entertainment. And lifestyle. Go on. And science. You can make fun of me. We're gonna make this like, are you smarter than a 10 year old plus anime, okay? You can just like, make fun of me on all these categories. Come on, Pablo. Are you smarter than a weeb? <laughs> okay. Here we go. You're Plastic Chris Tarrant is here. Question. Which of these is what water turns into when it freezes? A brick? Concrete? Ice? Big wink there. Or would C is the right answer. I would stake my life on it. Pablo, it's the first question. You shouldn't be wagering your entire life on this one. The stakes are very high. I know you are waiting for me to ask you. This is so the first go. question. Is this your final answer? Oh, yes, that's my final. It's not answer. that long left. <laughs> like, he's gonna die after this show. Right this is the last thing he ever does. That's what we were looking for. That's right. Burp, thank you for the bits. Thank you for playing. See, experienced contestants thank you for actually having this game. We, we, are, we are few so and far between. A whole new question. Which king are two of his wives executed? Henry VIII. It's always Henry VIII. There he is. It's always Henry. You spend so much time in history class learning about Henry. It's D, I think. I I'm choosing D. A isn't even real. <laughs> is that your final? 
Yes, that's my final answer. You have given your final answer. Divorced, now beheaded, and died. Is that the life. horrible history song? I vaguely remember that. Sounds familiar. You got it right. I, I read all those books that have like the comics and that when I was a kid. That just goes to show that my memory is still in. New question coming up. Which of these is a specific region in Northwest England? Is this the Lake District again? How are we already on repeat questions? How? I Okay. I've only just I bought the game. This many years educating myself. I would say B. I have no doubt. I've been playing for two hours. Sure? Is that your final answer? Um that's my final answer. Yes, absolutely. How many continents are there? Oh Jesus. Um, okay, uh North America, South America. Europe, Asia, Africa, Australia. Are we counting Antarctica? It's seven if it's Antarctica. Don't forget England. I don't think England is... Okay. We're gonna go, we're gonna count include Antarctica. answer yes that's my well done you got it this is really subjective one more right answer <laughs> my goodness what talent <laughs> have people debating on you forgot no Texas <laughs> where is Colleen a traditional name for a uh, young what that's Ireland yeah Colleen Google that means boy and girl oh I actually know this. It's Ireland. Well, I'm gonna try B. Are you absolutely sure? Is Spelt that your different. final answer? That'll be my final. You reached that threshold. The money is safe. I actually know that one. They spelled it really badly the there. That's not how you spell it. You're supposed to spell. It. I think it's like C A F A D A I L I F A D A N. The Jim Davis comic strip was the name of Garfield's kitten rival. Not Odie. Odie's the dog. John. It's not John. Uh, Normal or Woodstock? I feel like it's Normal just because that one's real fucking weird. It's not Woodstock. Yeah, w w Woodstock's too weird, but Normal seems like a weird decision. It's not Odie or John. It's Normal. It's D. Actually, I'm sure of it. You seem to be convinced. That is the right answer. See? Woodstock is Snoopy's friend. Oh, okay. Win the day. Woodstock's an event. What is the meaning of the Scottish word lock? The lawn monster. <laughs> I'm pretty I sure this one's B. like. I have no doubt. Final answer. You should. Yeah. Pretty straightforward yeah. question there. These ones do feel a bit easier this time. Get off my damn damn lock, kids! Good luck to you. Which senior people b b bullied Tom Brown in the story Tom Brown's School Days? I, I don't know. I haven't read that. Um, we haven't used a single lifeline yet, and we're gonna swap the question. It's time to use the flip and change the current question. Never read that. Flashman. No idea. Yeah. Random names. Now that you've released the pressure, here's a new question. DIY terminology, what name is given to the hollow part of a pipe or a tube? Bore, a burr, a bale, or a bead? Ah. Uh... Huh. 
Hollow part of the pipe were true. Bail doesn't sound right. Beach doesn't sound right. Boar or boar or burr. Boar looks like more of an actual word than burr does. So I would probably say boar. I'm going to pick A. I would lean towards that. And now to the Go most it. important question of all. Is this your final answer? Um, that's my final answer. Go for it. I probably should have used one of my life, okay, another lifeline or something. Validated but I'm trusting. I'm trusting. There we go. You got it. That just goes to show that my memory. Stop talking, Pablo. We've heard you say that so many times. This new question is now waiting. I could have given them more than like three voice colors. lines. Which is the only one of these four words spelled correctly? Questionnaire. Minuscule. Okay, that one's not. <laughs> right, we can rule out Labyrinth right away. Minuscule is... Questionnaire. Is Questionnaire 1N or 2? Minuscule looks right. Commemorate's not right. I think questionnaire might be too. Yeah, I think it's minuscule. Fucking spell and be question. <laughs> oh no, it's minuscule, not minus. Minus, it's M I N I. Minus, yeah. Isn't it? Oh, now I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I've double guessed myself. No, quest question there. Two ends. Fucking spelling bee questions got us stumped. It's minuscule. It's spelled correctly. He used a life. <laughs> I'm gonna need a fifty fifty. Two incorrect answers. Fuck! <laughs> Wait, questionnaire is like the word millionaire. Millionaire is spelt with one N. Of course, it's questionnaire. It has to be. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's one or two. <laughs> Is it? Oh, I This is such a simple- Like, how do you spell minuscule is the question, and we're like, losing our minds. We're just- I think it's minuscule. E for me. Let's spell correctly. Is that your final? Oh, yes, that's my final answer. All right, let's find out. Question has not felt like millionaire. 
We got it. Oh, four years in college. What a relief. The questions follow each other and are not alike. They're proof Gree well of this earned. new question. TV presenter wrote the novel The Soldier's Return. I don't know. I've never heard of... Come on, okay, Papa. Alan Titchmarsh, Thanks. I know, is actually a TV presenter. I've right heard answer. his name before. I could phone a friend, but I don't know who to phone. <laughs> I could ask the audience. I don't know if you know. Phone spiff. It's too late. At it's late in the day. Okay, let me see. Hang on. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna phone a friend. It's Colin. I don't- I don't think he's- I- I, I think he's probably- he's probably- might be gone to bed or something, honestly. I have no idea. No, he's- I don't think he's there. I have to pop a message, because otherwise he's gonna be very confused that he saw a missed call from me. Okay, no, he's, he's not picking up. I, I, I don't know who else I could call that might know the answer to this one. I have no idea. The soldiers return. <laughs> call your mom. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to... Do we place trust in video game audience or video game phone? Video game audience. Okay, audience. We need some help here. Okay, so I think a lot of people are saying Alan Titchmatch just because they recognize that he's a TV presenter as well. I'm gonna, uh, uh, we're gonna go with a whim in the audience here and say that it's not A or B. What does Alan Titchmarsh do again? Am I allowed to, like, look up, like, who he is? Or is that cheating? <laughs> I think that's cheating, yeah. I probably I'm not allowed to consult like an encyclopedia. We are the audience. Yeah, the audience here was saying C. Well, I don't know if you know. I did use ask the audience there, so I'm allowed to ask you as well. You guys think it's C. Okay. It's C, right? Okay, C. Let's try it. You seem to be convinced, but is this your final answer? That's my final answer. We're trusting you. The choice is made. We're trusting you. Now you are up to the threshold. Well done. We got 32,000 pounds. Yeah, we, all, we, we only have one lifeline left to phone a friend. I hope you have recovered from your oh, you know, we used that to call Keo earlier, didn't we? Question. Was that this round? That wasn't this round. Sir John Van Bro was a famous, was famous an architect of what else? Um, 
playwright? Creative type? Architect and bishop. I don't... I don't see these other ones happening. Whereas, like, I, I could see that. He's a character. When in I doubt, be it out. I have no doubt. Playwright. Final answer? You sure? That'll be my final answer. You have given your final answer. I hope it is the right one. Come on, Pablo. Yes. Okay, we're still in it. Yep. The logical sound. With that, if I'm not the star of the family, Pablo, please back. say something different. Maybe the money we win from this game show, we might be able to help you're him. Going, you're going to make short work of this new question. Which of the following was the home and away? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> no one cares. No one gives a shit. Like, if I call my mom, she'd be like, no, I don't know that. Like, who? Let's call video game friend. By calling someone, you may be making sure you get rid of this embarrassing question. Okay, let's go. We're gonna trust him. We're gonna trust Clementine. Good evening, Clementine. How are you doing? Absolutely great. And you? Is everything going okay with Pablo? Up until now, yes. But we need your help on this question. Pablo's in deep shit. Without really being too sure, I would say... C. Okay. Sure. Sure. Uh, I, it's a shot in the fucking dark, ain't it? C is the right answer. I would stake my life on it. Final? Oh. Yes. That He's taking his answer. life on it, apparently. All right, let's find out the right answer. Clementine might have blood in her hands soon. <laughs> okay, we're all right. She knows she knows her TV. That just goes to show that my memory is still in good shape. This new question is now waiting for you to be answered with flying colors. He has like five lines. On the dead of which English king was Lady Jane Grey queen for nine days? Oh, that was Edward, wasn't it? Was that Edward? Because, was it? Yeah, because Edward was like the sickly child. He wasn't really king for long at all. I think that's what it is. It's not Henry. Henry was fighting with his brother a while and then got the crown. Uh, Elizabeth killed Mary, became became queen. Lady Jane Grey was associated with Edward. Yeah, it's Edward. Obviously. Final answer. Thanks, horrible histories. You sure? That's my final answer. You have made your choice. That's the one. We got it. With that, if I'm not the star of the family when I go back. Please, just shut up, Pablo. <laughs> what is the name of the count who kidnaps uh, Reinhardt's sister in Legends of the Galactic... Oh, fuck. <laughs> no. I was afraid of this moment. <laughs> no. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I don't know. Which Kaiser Frederick was it? I don't. I have no idea. <laughs> I think I, I'm gonna have to go B. Use a lifeline. I don't have any. 
We gotta go B. For some reason, the game likes to put B as the correct answer. Well, I'm gonna try B. I have no idea. <laughs> okay, Kaiser Frederick third, Kaiser Frederick fourth, Kaiser Frederick fifth, Kaiser Frederick sixth. It's either the fourth or the fifth, just because that of that nice little alliteration that you'd get going, maybe. It's that it looks a bit snappier. Oh wait, no, this also is in Japanese, isn't it? So it might not might not hold true. Yeah, that, that logic is wrong. That logic just doesn't hold up at all. B. <laughs> you seem to be convinced, but is this your final answer? Yes, that's my final answer. He's not staking his life on this. If this is your final answer, let's hope it's the correct answer. You pull it off. <laughs> Somehow. That just goes to show that my memory is still in good shape. Somehow he's done it. Holy shit. Ready to face the traps of this next question? Good luck to you. The million pound question. Oh fuck, I have no idea. <laughs> no! I have no idea! Um, Jane of the Austin, turn of the century writer. You live less in those days. If it's turn of the century, it's either 17 or 27, based on the logic that she's probably dead by, well, she'd already be long dead by 1837. 1847's way too late. Do I trust B or do I go earlier? I should know this. I should really know this. We studied Austin. Fuck. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have any lifelines. Oh, this is what I get for saying I, 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 I'm. This is what I get for like choosing other modules in like advanced Austin studies. I wasn't the biggest fan. I, I didn't really like reading her novels compared to just like postmodern literature. Like I'm like a postmodern lit and James Joyce guy. That's like my area. <laughs> Beckett, too. Chris Tyrant's soul has left his body. Pablo might not have long left. I would say B. I have no doubt. I have a little doubt, Pablo. I have a little doubt, Pablo. be like a nice beat. Do I have a coin? I'm gonna flip one. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna flip a coin. <laughs> Chance will decide. Okay. Wait, which side's heads or tails on this coin? It was tails. Wait, what does that mean? Okay, all right, hang on, wait, 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 no. Okay, heads is 1817, tails is 1827. 
Where'd the coin go? It's heads. <laughs> it's heads. Final? That's my final answer. All right, let's find out the right answer together. You just won the Oh million. my god, we did it. <laughs> One million pounds, you did it, Pablo. You got a pension fund now. Oh my god. He seems very happy about it. <laughs> and one million pounds translates to 1,000 euro bucks. Now we can. What, what can we get in the shop for that? Carol, why do you even need the money? Okay. Well. Um. That's the game, I guess. <laughs> I think we're done. Do a chat only round. Uh, I mean, if we do chat only round, you guys, you guys might be able to cheat so easy. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna work. We would never cheat. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna leave it there. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna leave it there. But thank you for coming though today, folks. I hope everyone enjoyed the stream. It was good to be streaming again too, without any like technical mishaps. Uh, good to have you all here. Uh, thank you to everyone who subbed. Thank you to everyone who gave bits. Thank you to the mods as ever for being on hand. Uh, I'm gonna be away the next few days. I, I'm getting up to some stuff in America. I'm off to Legoland tonight, which I'm very excited for. Um. So the next stream, it'll either be, like, at a later time on Sunday, like, very late. The Europeans might not be able to make it if it's so, too late. Or Monday. It'll be one of those two. Uh, just keep an eye on the Discord as ever, and I will post if I'm going live. I'll try to give a heads up if I'm not live on Sunday, too. Because um, I believe we have some just kind of road traveling to do. Uh, it's gonna pretty much decide it. You know what? Yeah, just to make it easier for people, let's just say Monday. Yeah. Because Sunday's so up in the air. Next stream's Monday. Next stream's Monday. We'll stream then. I think that's just easier. I fun at Legoland. Thank you. I'm very excited. Don't die of Georgia heat. It's getting pretty bad. It's been like 38 degrees. Uh, which is like actually killer. Uh, but we've been taking shelter inside uh, just the last few days in particular because it's been quite bad. How are you even alive? I don't know. Still not as hot as Texas. Probably not, no. But nothing ever is. Nothing ever is. Okay, uh, let me see who's streaming. So I can leave you in their care. Uh, who's all going? Uh, Julie's making some art. Haven't rated Julie in a little while. Go say hey. 
Thanks again for coming, folks. Thank you to Kiwo as well for being our friend that we phoned. <laughs> that was good fun. Yeah, we will we will stream on Monday. Might start Outer Wild soon. Thinking about it. But we'll be doing something. That'll be good. Okay, thanks for coming, folks. Take care.